Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukkanen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkanen Photography. In this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri, we're going to be breaking down a photograph that I shot for Warner Music a few weeks ago. We're gonna break down all the layers and uh, I'm gonna explain what I did in the during the editing process and kind of explain the different thought processes that I went through while editing this photograph. But with that said, let's open up Photoshop and let's get started. So here you guys can see the final image and here is the photograph straight out of the camera. As you guys can see, I've done quite a lot to this image later in Photoshop. Uh, I added in the butterflies that flew in here. I changed the color of this um, green um, what do you call it, wall of trees, if you will, and um, did quite a lot of different things. So let's go through this quickly. Uh, first, I have a layer which I used to blur this side of the image a bit. And then here is stage one, a folder which has the first edits that I did. So let's take these away and I'll show you guys what I have here. First, I have a layer with shadows. So these are the shadows that the butterflies are casting down on the ground. And then I have the butterflies. Let's take a look at one of these layers here. The butterflies look a bit like this. I have a lot of layers of butterflies here. I shot these butterflies in the studio, kind of just kept them uh, in different positions and also threw them in the air and kind of that way photographed the butterflies and then cut them out from a black background. Then we have a levels layer which is clipped on the butterflies so I just darkened the butterflies as well as color graded the butterflies so that they matched the overall image a bit better. Then I have a curves adjustment layer that color grades the whole image as well as a color fill layer that I used at a very low opacity of 10% just kind of to uh, add a bit of blue into all of the elements in this photograph. And then I have a hue and saturation layer uh, which again color grades the image a bit further and then I did some fixes I got, him, got rid of the small bits of sky that we had here and all that stuff kind of cleaned up the image in it, if you will and then I have a stamp visible layer so this is kind of my first stage of editing then I did a dodge and burn on the image and again stamp visible on top of it and now then I started testing the coloring so I didn't really know where to what direction I wanted to take this photograph so I tested all sorts of things I'll show you guys what I have here uh, turn these all off and show you guys first I have a slight smoke layer underneath and over the butterflies then I have a vibrance layer I tested out maybe adding a bit of vibrance would help I did a hue and saturation on it, took it a bit to a green, more greenish tone, took color balance, kind of brought it back to the normal stage, took some brown color fill and tried to turn it a bit more brownish, used a curves adjustment layer, a hue and saturation layer, another one, a third one. So kind of as you can see here I was just testing around with colors and finally what I understood was what I really liked was this very natural looking uh, direction for this photograph but I wanted to add something magical I kind of got didn't want to keep the greens so then what I understood was I need to go kind of to a totally different style of color grading and change everything that is green to a reddish tone and this was kind of a decision that I made after testing around for about a half an hour or so and then I thought yeah let's change everything that's green into a, this nice reddish purplish tone and then with a curves adjustment layer I kind of color graded a bit, it a bit further and then I did some minor fixes and uh, created a stamp visible layer and then here are just final things that I did some sharpening on the image uh, also just some slight brightening of the image and then with the hue and saturation layer I just uh, pulled down some of the saturation on these greenish butterflies so yeah that's pretty much it quite a lot of time went into the 
uh, shooting the butterflies and adding them into the photographs. But otherwise it was just testing around, finding the colors that work and uh, then the basic dodging and burning and sharpening that I do for all of my images. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's quite short but uh, effective video. And as always, if you have any questions or requests uh, for future episodes, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to like, share and subscribe. And with that said, see you guys again next time. Bye.